Hi betting experts, on Monday the 8th of June, we're off to Haydock, um, a competitive day's racing. Uh, we've got 10 races from 12.15 through to 4.55. The ground on the faster side of good, though there is quite a lot of weather in the forecast, so things could ease there. We've made our selections with that in mind. We start off with a value angle bet in the 1.15. This is an 11 runner Betway Heed Your Hunch handicap over five furlongs. Three-year-olds only, a class four, 11 runners, £4,690 on offer to the winner. And it's quite open betting this morning, around about three to one the field, headed by Sir Oliver of Richard Hughes. The one I prefer is Tim e Easterby's filly, Ivor Go. Now this one ran six times as a juvenile, winning once, that win coming at Beverley in April on fast ground, narrowly, and she held her form afterwards really well, uh, running at York in a listed contest, finishing 7th of 18 there, shaping nicely. Then beaten a muddling race when she didn't enjoy much luck in running at Redcart at a short price. Uh, the ground was perhaps a bit too testing for again at a thin price at Catterick. And a final start at York back on faster ground. She shaped a lot better than the bare result, giving chase to the all the way winner, Mrs. Bouquet, and just getting tired in the final 100 yards. That was off a mark of 75, her first handicap. She has been generously eased £2 since then. It has been off for 332 days, but Tim Easterby's already had a couple couple of winners in the past week uh, his horses are generally running well and she looks on a handy mark here getting weight all round with David Allen taking the ride I think she'll go close 10 to 1 if she is fit is certainly over the odds as we've mentioned before um, in the past week it is small stakes at this time of the season you are in the dark in some ways until you see the late Betfair market that's for sure um, with regard to fitness and what the intentions are for these horses who've been off for a long time having missed what would have normally been the last three months of racing. For our nap of the day we head to the 12.45 um, this is another handicap sponsored by Betway over six furlongs class three for three-year-olds only 12 runners £6,728 on off to the winner it's really quite an interesting race here some unexposed three-year-olds lining up and the one I really like is Martin Mead's Clary Blue. Now Martin Mead's a trainer who places his horses really carefully. They're usually um, fit and well and fancied and in the right races and he's a yard I really like. Now this one is a progressive cult as a juvenile running three times starting off significantly at the top tracks at Newmarket in York when in the frame showing ability uh, and then after 194 days off uh, winning at Newcastle in January in destructive fashion albeit at long odds on in a week race on the all weather but that was very impressive and there was fortunes around um, hammering him down that day he starts off now in handicaps of a mark of 86 which I think is lenient fast turf holds no terrors at all and I think he'll go extremely close the main danger could come from the top one Brad the brief of Tom Dascombe who won uh, three from four as a juvenile but does have a mark of 90 now and some of Dascombe's I thought have been needing the run so far uh, so perhaps um, something like byline of Kevin Ryan could emerge as a interesting runner 87 very fair mark um, for him now starting off in handicaps on some of his earlier form although it became a bit disappointing last back in but anyway Clary Blue for me uh, Ben Curtis's book for Martin Mead a mark of 86 could be very generous and I'm expecting him to go very close best of luck on Monday betting experts